Alex Tavarich, and I'm the Communications and Digital Media Specialist here at the Maine Mathematics and Science Alliance. Um, so let's say a client comes to you and says, I want you to design a website for me. How do you start the conversation with them? So from start to finish, it, it essentially goes uh, a sketch on a piece of paper or a napkin or whatever you have available for that, that interview. And then from there, you're going to refine the idea over conversations with the client. You're going to begin to uh, form the website based on those conversations better. You're going to then take those conversations and ideas and may make two, maybe three versions of a website. And by website, I, I really just mean the look of the front page. And then you're going to have maybe three or four pages on top of that. And Do you have a website or two that you could show us that you've designed or are designing that could maybe explain to our viewers a little bit about your uh, approach to designing website? So if I go to uh, my photography site, which I did with my wife, you can see I have a slideshow showing off a recent wedding that we did. And, um, and as you scroll up, you'll be able to see that the menu and, and the our brand comes into play and as I reach the top it sticks to it, sticks to the top. And then of course we have senior pictures that we do and our thoughts. Tell us a little bit about um, how did you make your decision, some of your decisions about the design of this? We wanted to make certain that uh, that we appear to be as friendly as, as possible. So our logo is, is a heart and it has uh, an aperture inside of it. I just wanted to keep it like a dark room. So in a dark room, you have the color red because it doesn't show up on film. And uh, obviously the white would just have to contrast to the, the dark background and make it easier to read. At my previous position, I was at the Maine Sportsman and I designed their website. So their website is a magazine site. The audience that we have are uh, on this page were hunters and you had to be able to uh, let them see data that was relevant to Maine. And so they wanted to go to see the with the, the list of the biggest bucks. So if you go to this, you have a, a site area that shows a listing of all the people and the size of the deer that they got. It's just important to, uh, to, to know the audience and know the purpose of the website. On the development end, what is it always a different platform, always the same platform? Well, the most popular right now for most um, small and medium businesses uh, uh, to work with is a system called WordPress. So WordPress is simply a framework of website management tools that allow a individual to create posts, to create pages, and a designer can create any kind of look on top of it. So a large company, you know, like IBM or Microsoft, they use something that's not out of the box. They use something that is very much customized, set up to suit their needs, and it may be an entirely different language too that a programmer would have to learn. So the difference between a designer and a developer. A developer is someone who really has to understand the code. They have to understand how databases work and behind the scenes. Understanding the the nuances of a uh, of, of how websites put together can be important over time if you decide to, to be a developer. But a designer, they don't need to know. They just need to understand a very basic set of tools. I use a tool called Atom, and it's a wonderful programming tool because it allows you to um, to program in HTML and CSS, which are the the two major parts of being a designer, you do have to know those those two. Not How did you get into web design? I got into it because uh, I was actually a designer for print. So I, I, I love print. I do a lot of design for print stuff. I think most people don't think that print is going to stick around, so they want something on the web. And so I decided that I wanted to increase my avenue of, of talents and understanding, and I tried making websites and so I bought a website domain and, and hosting for $120 for a year and I fooled around with it for a couple years trying to figure out how I would how I would use this thing. 
What do you like about doing web design? The things that I like about web design are you always learn something new. Uh, anything that you can imagine pretty much can be done. And anyone can do it. Anybody can do it. It's just an amazing thing being a web developer.